now i am only 43 already i am seeing thousands of people practicing this anavopaya methods along with me i am going to be in the body active healthy at least next 150 years more not including this 43 already because this bloody fellows the hindu enemies and hindu traitors wasted lot of my time and i am a non violent person i don't go and attack them i don't go and fight with them i don't go and kill them i, I don't react to them i just decide to live longer magananga <laughs> I am a non-violent person. Person with so much of ahimsa, I don't go and attack them back or behave violently, react violently. No, I just decide to live longer, healthy. I can comfortably take Batmasana challenge. with anyone in the world longest time sitting in batmasana i can take a challenge with anyone in the world sitting in batmasana is one of the very important skill to see whether somebody is healthy or not see without back support i don't have any back support my spine is very straight sitting on the seat without back support sitting in batmasana keeping the merudanda straight the backbone neck and the head in straight line keeping the merudanda in straight sitting in batmasana i can take a challenge with anyone in the world the longest number of hours without moving sitting in batmasana anyone wants to challenge you can send a message not for competition just to tell this glory of yoga that's all nothing else i can see the same habit is getting built in my kids my kids all over the world start building the same habit of batmasana sitting in batmasana all over the world i am seeing the success of my teachings now itself thousands are practicing this lankanam parama aushadam fasting is the ultimate medicine this anavopaya techniques methods i am giving and i am going to be in the body healthy living teaching spreading my mission at least next 150 years more so that is why i am very sure i can easily make minimum 10000 fully enlightened through this anavopaya and body will not go through any disintegration even after they leave the body it will be just jeeva samadhi like ramanuja in srirangam anybody who has a third eye scanning power if you go to srirangam and see that ramanuja deity and scan you can see his bones are all inside it is a body actual body it's not carved deity it's a body it's traditionally embalmed as per the hindu tradition in hindu tradition the embalming is done while you are alive it's not that after you leave the body they do some process pull out the internal organs and infuse some no no while you are alive itself your diet and your pranayama everything is done properly in such a way that your body is embalmed so after you leave the body 
nobody touches it just it becomes deity i tell you ramanuja swami ramanuja acharya in srirangam is the just the body used and tirumala tirupati venkateshwara is the body of venkateshwara srinivasa the body which he used he just stood and became a deity it's a very body he used it is not stone deity if you have a third eye body scanning power manifested if you can scan people and see their body inside go and stand in front of venkateshwara and pray to him request him to show him you will see clearly he will show his whole body in the inside that bone and all is there as it is he just became a deity same way the ramanujacharya in srirangam he just became a deity and in brindavan raghavendra swami is sitting just as a deity inside his jiva samadhi in neru sadashiv brahmendra is just sitting as a deity and trailing a swami in kashi i can go on giving you the list so now we have the signs we will revive it at least 10000 people will achieve full enlightenment through anavopaya through this methodology so they can sit in jiva samadhi around me that will be the most powerful energy center in the world literally kailasan planet earth